Uh, my name is Mark Mandel. I'm a city two-year-old race walker from Pretoria. I compete in the 50-kilometer race walk. I qualified in uh, Melbourne, Australia last year, setting a South African and African record in my event. I covered the distance in three hours, 54 minutes and 12 seconds. Look out for me in Rio. I'll be going round and round in circles. The 50-kilometer race walk takes place on a 2k loop so it's 25 laps of two kilometers on the route are eight judges that are monitoring an athlete's technique and making sure that they are compliant with the rules the two major rules in race walking are that the knee has to be straight when it makes contact with the ground so the front leg should be straightened completely and then the second one is making sure that there's always one part of the foot on the ground at all times so it's called the contact phase and basically the judges come out on their route and they're watching each athlete multiple times on a 25 lap 2k course and in my event they'll come out periodically have a look see how each athlete's moving see whether they're in compliance with the rules and regulations and they feel they, that the athlete is transgressing they'll give them a caution and they give out a paddle so they basically just give a paddle in front of the athlete and say this is um, not locking the knee or this is um, losing contact and then straight after that if the athlete accumulated three um, paddles from the different judges then they'll get disqualified and they'll be removed from the track so each athlete has an opportunity to get three cautions and then three disqualification nominations and on the third disqualification the athlete is is evicted from the course hi my, my name is Levakang Shange I'm a race walker I'm 25 years old I was born in Soweto and moved to Orange Farm in Lakeside and my career started when I was 18 years old that means it's been like six or seven years on, on a game. Uh, one thing that motivated me to be a race walker is a guy called Jared Talent from Australia. He surprises me. In seven days, he got two medals. He got a medal on a 20K in race walking in Beijing. And after six days, he got a medal on 50K. That's silver also. I was inspired by him. If he can do it, I can do it better than him. I mean, so I'm, so I'm interested to know, how does a, a youngster, an 18-year-old from Soweto, go from Soweto to the big stage? I, as I said, I was just watching Beijing Olympics. I was yeah, from soccer match, local soccer match, then I was just tired and like, ah, just lying in bed. Ah, there's Olympics. I'm just, what is this? This is an easy sport. I can do it because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> then I fall in love with it and I've Google around, ask around. I met Wayne Scott. I met Brenda Wakefa. I met a lot of people asking around. I went, met Tepakosa. I had a huge team around me, supporting me, believing in me that I can do it one day. And then my first international race was in 2011, when I was 21 years old. I started being more focused and being serious, and then I went to Mauritius. I came back with a silver. What's the main difference between training in South Africa and maybe the mindset that you found in Australia? The mindset in Australia, everyone believes that they can do it, and they have the great support in the world. Because where we are, we had we had physio, we had uh, nutrition, we have all the things that the sports person needs. We have the, the recovery center, we have the track, we have everything that we needed there. Then, you know, if you have everything in life, you just need, you just need to perform and get, get all the medal. Guys, you're not going to believe that. That was one incredible pace. Managed to stick with him until about 300 meters and uh, then Lebohang really put the, the, the back burners on. Uh, Mark, I think, took it quite easy. He was lenient on me, but uh, that was quite something. Just remember, this is not my main event though, so that's still coming. So we've just done this walk around the track, Mark. Uh, it, was, it was quite something. So while, while I kept, uh, kept up for the first uh, 200 meters or so, I think you, pretty, you took it pretty easy on me. Um, and then you guys accelerated around the bend. You're keeping that pace for 20 Ks, 30 Ks, 40 and 50 Ks in your instance. Yeah. How did you do that? No, we, we got an opportunity to just warm up there. And in the first lap of a race, you're always really just trying to loosen up and just see the competition and see it for what it is. But I knew I still had another 124 laps to go and you probably didn't have that much left in your tank. So for me, a 50K race is 125 laps. So uh, it's, in, it's important just to get into a good, 
good starting pace, warm up, and then and then go for it. And you were admirable. You kept with us. Um, obviously, Lebo is much faster than I am, and he races at four minutes a k. I race somewhere closer to five minutes a k. And when we were walking with you, we were somewhere close to six minutes a k. Your wife's also kind of sacrificing as well. I mean, as a family or as as Team Mandel, you guys have done quite a bit to get you to 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 the Olympic Games. We also, we do talk about Team Mandel, and and it's not just for me. It's for her as well. She's She's a full-time medical doctor and she's got a lot of commitments and stress at the hospital and with her, her work and in her environment, it, it's really quite challenging and just as much as she's supporting me selflessly, I've also got to try and support wherever I can and, and that's where it's integral and she's the most integral part of my team. Um, obviously my family and my parents are there as well but she is my number one fan and supporter and I'm, I'm indebted to her.